Hello, I'm Wayne and this is Digital Chowder where we give insights to essential digital resources for the home business. And in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to install an ELFSite widget on your WordPress website. Now, if you're not familiar with ELFSite, I encourage you to go to my website and read my blog, Maximize Website Potential Unlocking ELFSite Widget Power. And it'll give you insights to how you can benefit from the use of ELFSite widgets for your, for your website. So uh, we're on the ELFSite website right now. And uh, if you were to just highlight, uh, hover over widgets here, you would get an idea of all of the widgets that they offer, categorized under social, video, audio, and, and so forth. So um, let's get started into that, and we'll do so by signing up for a free account. Now you can create your account using your Google account, your Facebook, or the usual way with email and password. I already have an account, so I'm going to continue under my Google account. And here's my dashboard. I don't have any widgets right now, so we're going to create one and um, show you how to install it on your website. Let's start up here by going to the catalog, and this will list the widgets. Now you can go through this whole page of, of widgets, or you can go through the categories. Now I'm interested in installing a video of my YouTube channel on my website to display my YouTube channel. And so that's what I will use to demonstrate for you. So we go over here to videos, and you have the YouTube gallery, and you have the Vimeo gallery. So we're going to take YouTube, and then we see the options for templates that we could use. Here is YouTube channel, here's a video grid, and uh, I used earlier a video gallery, for instance, showing eight videos at a time. But uh, I'm going to do the YouTube channel this time. So let's select it. Click on this button down here to continue with this template. And now it's getting ready to set it up for us. First thing we need to do is to get a, a source, our YouTube channel URL. So I'll go over to my YouTube account. This is my channel and up here I would just simply copy this URL. I'll simply highlight and paste over that and now you see my channel pop up. Now we could uh, we could alter the appearance of this. I'll not go into take the time to do that. You can certainly experiment with it once you get into it but we could change the layout in terms of the header, do we want the logo, do we want a banner, etc. I do want the channel description, so I will add that. And we could go into the appearance and change color schemes um, for various things in it. And um, I'll not go into that more, so um, I do want to rename it the widget on my dashboard, so I will call it Digital Chowder YouTube Channel. All right. Now, let's also look at the options we have for various plans, uh, ELF site plans. So right now, I'm using the free one, the light, which allows one website with 200 views to the widget per month, and then just one widget. Uh, and as far as support, we only get bug fixes, and we have to put up with the off-site branding. Now, if that's not good enough for us, we could go to the basic. For $5 a month, we could get unlimited websites, 5,000 views a month, three widgets, basic support, free installation service, and no ads. So. You can make your choice. I'll go out of this though, and um, I want to now publish. All right. And so now we will close this out, and we're ready to install. Click Install. And here you have a variety of website builders. 
and you can you can go to their tutorials to show how to do this. We're doing WordPress and I will be your tutorial. So we want to copy this code. This is an HTML code. So we're going to copy it to our to our clipboard. Now we're going to go to the website and I have a page open here to post um, a blog and uh, we could enter all of our blog information and all but all I want to really do is demonstrate for you this widget so we're going to add a new block and here we want an HTML block so we'll enter that search here's our HTML block and all we have to do is paste the code that we copied over at Elf site. That's it. So um, now we want to save our draft. And now let's do a preview. All right, and there you have it. And you, you notice uh, here are some edit tools that are only for you when you're logged into your admin back end of the website. And then down here you'll see your uh, branding and you could uh, click to remove that and of course they'll want you to upgrade to be able to do that. All right. And if we had made edits to color or other factors it would it could look differently than this. So that's that's it. Really not that much to it as you can see. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope you will uh, push the like button below subscribe to my channel, and come back again. Thank you for watching.